guys, I hope you're well and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I am in my pyjamas right now because to be honest, it would feel very, very weird to be filming this video not in my pyjamas because today I am going to show you some binge-worthy series and films that I love and hopefully can entertain you over this time of being in lockdown. I do have some popcorn as well because it's 12 o'clock somewhere in the world right now, so popcorn it is, and you can't have a movie night without popcorn, let's face it. The first series I want to talk to you about is called The Good Place. Now, I was instantly drawn to this because it has Kristen Bell in it, I think that's her name, um, and I really like her in films and stuff, and it just caught my attention. I never really read anything about it, but I really liked the narrative of it. So this is basically, without giving you any spoilers, about the afterlife but it's not depressing it's actually really really funny and what happens is it's kind of like a heaven and hell kind of scenario but in a modern day twist and i really really enjoy this series i think the episodes are about 40 minutes but it's the kind of series that i put on when maybe Chris is working upstairs and I'm working on the sofa and I want something in the background or in the evening if I want to watch something that's a bit more light-hearted. I feel like this kind of program would be great for now because it's not too heavy. It's very light, it's very funny, it's very kind of relatable. And yeah, I really enjoyed this series. So this is a really good one if you just want a bit of an escape, nothing too kind of emotionally draining and just have a little chuckle. So definitely check out The Good Place. Okay, so next up we have something completely opposite and this is called Dark. But this is actually set in a German town and it's about two children that disappear. But along the way, loads of like supernatural stuff unravels. It reminded me a little bit of Stranger Things, but more of like a grown up version. Like I said, it's set in a German town, so the actors are speaking in German, but it's kind of um, dubbed with English, so you don't have to read subtitles, which I cannot keep up with subtitles at all. So I was really glad that this was dubbed with English. Um, it's a really great series to watch. It is a little bit heavy. Obviously, it's called Dark. It's about supernatural things. And like I said, it's more of like a grown-up Stranger Things kind of series. Myself and Chris found it really interesting. We were hooked to the whole series. I think there's two series now, 19 episodes. And um, yeah, it was really good. It, but towards the end, it did get a bit confusing. So you, it's the kind of series you need to put down your phone, pick up your popcorn and just focus on. <laughs> then we have a film. Just to break this up, because sometimes you just fancy watching a good old film. Now this is one that I'd seen pop up on Netflix so much, and it's called Green Book. For me, I found this film so, so moving. It's kind of a lot about race, and I feel like it's quite eye-opening to how things used to happen. Basically, a working class Italian kind of bouncer becomes a driver for an African-American classical pianoist. And he drives them to all these gigs and along the way, loads of stuff happens. They kind of form this kind of bond, which is just lovely. I'm not gonna tell you too much about it because, I mean, this video is very hard because I feel like I don't wanna give too much away, but I have to tell you about the series and the films. Very odd one, but um, yeah, a really lovely, heartwarming film. Great for couples as well because Chris really enjoyed it and so did I. It wasn't like a kind of romantic comedy that Chris didn't get and what a scary film that I didn't like. We kind of both enjoyed it for different reasons. So yeah, a really lovely film. Definitely, definitely worth a watch if you are looking for one to watch at the moment. I think it's won loads of Oscars and stuff and Grammys. Yeah, won three Oscars. It was good. So yeah, I liked that. Okay, so then we have a series that is maybe for the more, um, what, how, do you, how do you say this, detectives among us, because there's always a few detectives out there that like a good old murder mystery. So, this one is called Don't F-U-C-K with cats, um, hunting an internet killer. So this is about a group of people on the internet that find this guy that's doing horrible, horrible things to animals, and in the end, he does more stuff and this internet group of people who are like using a Facebook group basically try to frame him for it. They try to get him for it. It's a very, very good kind of, like it's a real story, so it's not a thriller, but it's a good like documentary about this murderer. However, I would say that if you find 
Obviously there's a bit of animal cruelty in it and he does do some horrible things to cats. So if you are quite emotional to that, then maybe just be aware that that does happen in this video. I found those bits quite hard. And even though they don't really show it in the video, you kind of know what's going on. For me personally, I just didn't look. I left the room at that bit and came back in. But apart from that, that's the only bit that I found really, really kind of graphic, I guess. But it's a very good murder mystery. It is um, similar to like Making a Murderer, if you guys have watched that. It's very kind of gripping. We watched every episode, like one after the other. We were like, we need to know what happens here. So yeah, worth a watch if you do like that kind of more thrilling stuff with a bit of a scary edge. Um, that's about as scary as these recommendations are going to get though because I do not like anything to do with horror. So that is, that's as scary as it's going to get on here. So I need to eat some popcorn. I keep talking. Salty and sweet is the best combination. So next up is actually the newest series that myself and Chris have been watching. We haven't actually finished it yet because we're on the second series and I think there's three or four and it's already made its way into one of my favourite series of all time which is saying a lot because I watch a lot of TV. But this is an Amazon Prime series and it's called This Is Us and this is basically about three triplets, obviously there's going to be three, triplets and their kind of struggles in life and their childhood what happens, life in general, but the way that it's shot and like the emotional draw that it has. I mean, every time I watch one of these episodes, I will probably shed a little tear about something, which sometimes I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing <laughs> that it's so emotional, but it's a really good program at just kind of summing things up really, really well. Um, and recently they actually covered something that I've been through, um, which I found really interesting. They basically hit the nail on the head. Basically, whoever is directing this knows emotions. They know what happens, they know how people feel, and they get that music going, they get the narrative going. It's just all very emotional and scary how right it is. A really good series. You see these triplets kind of growing up, and then once they've grown up, you also see like flashbacks to their past, how it affects them, like little choices that they make, how it changes their life and stuff like that. It's a really, really interesting series and I absolutely love it. And not only that, Mandy Moore is actually one of the main characters and hello, 90s, well, I'm not really a 90s child, I'm more of like an 80s then 90s child, but Mandy Moore was in my childhood a lot. If anyone knows out there, a walk to remember, Mandy Moore was my hero, <laughs> just putting it out there. So yeah, really like the fact that she's one of the main characters in it and I just really love it. You need to watch it. If you have Amazon Prime, you've got a lot of series to get through, watch it. The last one is possibly the best one and it will come no surprise to any of you guys if you've seen my room tour or you know a little bit about me or you've watched my videos for a while. The best series of all time that you guys need to spend this time watching is Twin Peaks. I mean, I didn't think I'd like it. Chris introduced me to Twin Peaks because he said it was really good. He'd watched it like three times at this point and wanted to watch it again. That is how good it is. I was a little bit unsure because looking at all of the trailers, it looked very old. I was like, you know what? I'm a new series kind of gal. Like, why would I watch Twin Peaks when I have a whole thing of Netflix? However, I gave it a go and oh my God, my life was changed. Twin Peaks is the best series ever in the world. Up there with the best. It's a little bit weird. It's a little bit funky, but the characters are so amazing and I absolutely love Cooper, the FBI agent. So basically, let me, get, let me go back to the beginning. So this is basically about an FBI agent that gets sent to this little town called Twin Peaks to investigate a young girl's murder. Um, <laughs> it gets a bit hectic, it gets a bit crazy, and it's very, very interesting. And you need to watch it. Basically, the FBI agents whole motto is in life is that you need to give yourself one treat a day. He loves coffee and he loves cherry pie. He's basically me in an FBI agent. <laughs> so guys, those are my series and film recommendations that I think you guys might enjoy on Netflix and Amazon. I've now got a little puppy on my lap because guess who just woke up from his nap and made a lot of noise. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure you give it a nice big thumbs up. If you guys also have any recommendations, leave them down below in the comments. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some major ones that I've forgotten about because it's really hard to remember which ones we've watched. I, my memory is awful. So if you guys do enjoy this video, let me know if you wanna see another one. <laughs> 
with some other recommendations that I've got. I mean, Bernie's already sick of my voice, so maybe that's a sign I need to sign this video off. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you're all staying safe, staying well, and staying at home. I hope you're all just doing well at this time. It's a really odd time, but hopefully this video might help give you some entertainment for a little while. So yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you again very soon for my next video. Bye. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Say goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Bye, guys.